Good morning. My name is Maureen Chong. Welcome to Daily Devotional of September the 27th. The Bible passage is Psalm chapter 19, verse 1 to 6. The title is Two Books, Part 1. And it is for the director of music, a psalm of David. The heavens declare the glory of God. The skies proclaim the work of his hands. Day after day, they pour forth speech. Night after night, they reveal knowledge. They have no speech. They use no words. No sound is heard from them. Yet their voice goes out into all the earth, their words to the ends of the world. In the heavens, God has pitched a tent for the sun. It is like a bridegroom coming out of his chamber, like a champion rejoicing to run his course. It rises at one end of the heavens and makes its circuit to the other. Nothing is deprived of its warmth. This Psalm of David scores high as one of my favorites. It really speaks to my heart. I have a home library where I keep some of the writings of my favorite authors. Robert Browning, Thomas Hardy, William Shakespeare, Henry Nouwen, Eugene Peterson, Peter Scazzero, Elric Warren, and so on. If I can only keep one book, it would definitely be the Bible. In David's library, there are two books, a book of nature and a book of scripture. That is reflected in Psalm 19. God reveals himself in his creation, verse 1 to 6, and God reveals himself in his word, verse 7 to, 9, 7 to 10. Furthermore, God reveals himself to his servant, verse 11 to 14. In the third section, David changes the pronoun from the third person, servant, to the first person, I, me, my. David ends this psalm in a very personal and intimate way. Today, we shall meditate on the first section. Tomorrow, we shall meditate on the second and third sections. First, God reveals himself in his creation. Verse 1 to 6. David begins with the witness in space and time in sound and silence. Verse 1 to 4a. The spectacular display of the galaxies in space silently declare and proclaim the glory of God. Day and night mark the passage of time which speaks of God's faithfulness with voice that cannot be heard. This sound of silence reaches the ends of the earth to testify the might and wisdom of the Creator. Paul says in Romans chapter 1, verse 20, For since the creation of the world, God's invisible qualities, his eternal power and divine nature have been clearly seen, being understood from what has been made so that people are without excuse. The universe did not just happen to exist. God created it with intelligent design. David follows with a witness of light and heat, which provide for life and energy on earth, verse 4b to 6. The atmosphere surrounding the earth is described as a tent. The sun is the source of light and heat for us, without which there will be no plant life or animal life. The joy, the joyful energy of life is compared with the bridegroom emerging from his chamber and an athlete eager to run his race. Sunrise and sunset symbolize God's faithfulness. He continues with predictability to bless and nourish. However, these point to Christ Jesus, who is the light of the world. John the Baptist has this testimony about Christ Jesus as recorded in John chapter 1, verse 8 to 9. He himself was not the light. He came only as the witness to the light. The true light that gives light to everyone was coming into the world. Jesus Christ. John 9, 5 records Jesus' testimony. While I am in the world, I am the light of the world. Therefore, Jesus had the ministry of healing by opening the eyes of the blind, and he had the ministry of teaching by illuminating the spiritual eyes of the seekers. More, 
Jesus testifies that he is life for us also. I'm the resurrection and the life. The one who believes in me will live even though they die, John 11, 25. After saying this, Jesus raised Lazarus from death to life. But resurrection life is more than physical life restored. It is the believer's life with God in heaven for eternity. Therefore, God's creation means more than just his creation. It is the physical world reflecting the spiritual truth of the metaphysical world. Amazing. Perhaps next time we go for a walk, let us look further than the big houses and luxury cars. Let us look at the cloud and the sky, the trees and the flowers, the colors of wood and stone. If we walk at night, let us look up to the heavens and rejoice that God has created you and I. We can breathe the air and feel the raindrops, even snowflakes on our face. Let us give thanks that we are alive and he loves us so. Thank you, God, for this beautiful world you have created for us to live in. Help us to be good stewards of your trust. May we love your creation as you do. May we love you, Lord, most of all. In Christ our Savior's name we pray. Amen. Go out and enjoy the creation of God. And may God bless you. See you tomorrow. Please like and subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to get new video updates. Thank you.